Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mario Jackson from RWF. Keep it realistic with Realistic Fiction. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Once again, we're in the studio because outside it's windy, it's cold, and I think it's about to rain. So instead of going through all that to try and catch four bluegill, we're going to stay in the studio and open some mail. This piece right here sticks out. Let's get into it. We have some mail here from Wayne in Rock Island, Illinois. The label says one of two, and when I see something this shape, I think rod, right? Fishing rod? Let's see if I have the tools I need to crack this sucker open. Luckily, this is a two-piece, so it will fit in the studio. Let's get this thing open. It's got a nice little carrying case here. And I can tell already, it's a fly fishing rod. We're going to lean that one up against the wall while I read about this. This says, Orvis clear water eight and a half foot. It also says to use five weight line full flex 5.0. I don't know much about fly rods but this is clearly an eight and a half foot Orvis clear water. It has regular fishing line guides here on the bottom but then as you get up here it switches to a wire loop. Here is box two of two from Wayne. Let's see if there's a letter or a note inside. All right, here's that letter I was hoping for. And it says, Alex, I've enjoyed the videos for many years. Hope you can put these to use. The flies in the Crystal River container were hand tied by a friend. All I ever did was lose the dang flies, Wayne. All right, Wayne, let's see what's in the box. Here we have a Charlie's Sporting Goods case from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And inside are some flies. We got some little poppers. We got some other flies here with reflective tape and thread. They look quite good. I like the metallic look they have. They got like copper wire and stuff on them. Here's a fishing reel. This is a Shakespeare Supreme S250. I'm going to have to switch over the handle. I reel on this side. But this looks like a 500 series Shakespeare ultralight fishing reel. Looks a little bit on the older side, but I bet it's still in working order. Here's an Orvis fly fishing reel, probably paired up with that nice fishing rod over there. It looks like it still has some line on it, which is good because I don't know anything about choosing fly line, so I'll probably just start with whatever's on there. This is the Clearwater 5.6. I don't really know what any of those names or numbers mean. I assume it's the model, right? Like this one is a Shakespeare Supreme. This one is an Orvis Clearwater. Let's see what else is in the box. My name is Dewey Cash and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Here is a Crystal River fly box. Lots of flies inside. Lots of different colors. Brown, red, white, black good looking flies here which ones were the hand tied flies the crystal river so these are the hand tied flies I'll have to give them a try both with the fly fishing combo and without the thing with the fly fishing combo I need to fish somewhere where there's a lot of room right I need at least nine feet behind me. That's not a hill or trees or bushes. I need nine feet above me and nine feet in front of me at least because I know there's a long back cast involved. 
I've tried it a few times, I'm not very good, but this is just another reason to get out there and try it again. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. I think that's it. Thank you again to Wayne for sending all this cool fishing stuff in. I know I've seen your comments on YouTube and I really appreciate you watching the channel, leaving comments, and of course, sending something into the show. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a package here from Wood Booger Fishing in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Dear Alex, here's a few items I thought you might like. Some for the log, some for a bass, maybe a trout. Love the show. Thanks for keeping it realistic. Sincerely, Davey from Wood Booger Fishing. All right, let's see what's in here. We got a package of reusable pinch-on sinkers. This is a 20 pack of size four. These are pretty big. They'd work very well for a drop shot. Here's some size four Aberdeen hooks. Could also work well with said drop shot with a minnow or a little imitation minnow bait going for crappie, maybe bass. Got some weighted bobbers here from Comal Tackle. Can never have too many of those. Here's another package, slightly smaller. My favorite panfish bobbers right here, weighted cigar floats. Here we have a pack of yum, little teeny tiny stick baits, soft stick baits. Little variety pack here, probably from Walmart. Also a pack of yum creature baits. These look like a baby brush hog. But of course from yum, I'm not sure what their equivalent is. That's an interesting looking bait. Got some pre-rigged twirl tails. Twister tail grubs here. And Last but not least, some power bait mice tails. Also a good looking bait. I have caught trout on this before, so I know it works. I wonder if it could catch anything else. I might try it for other fish since the trout fishing is just about over. Awesome lures here. Thanks again to Davey from Wood Booger Fishing. Good little assortment here. Now I just need the weather to cooperate so I can get out there and try some of this. Thanks again, Davey. I'm just curious to see if Wood Booger Fishing is a YouTube channel. It is. So it's a channel here in Tennessee, 127 subscribers, Wood Booger Fishing. Let me make sure I subscribe. You're all set. Let's see what else we got in the mail. This is Kenny Sal, Rock and Wrestle Federation. You're watching. Realistic fishing. Better keep it realistic. Here we have an envelope from E in Newport, Tennessee. It's just marked with an E. All right, looks like we got a couple of lures here and a letter that says, Dear Alex at Realistic Fishing, longtime fan, not to take too much of your time, you get a lot of mail. But here is a couple of beaver style baits, homemade, that I poured from unused recycled plastics. I enjoy the show. As always, keep it realistic. Fishing with Big E. All right, Fishing with Big E, let's check them out. Yeah, not bad. We got a couple of flipping baits here. He said these are hand poured out of recycled baits which probably means he was melting down torn and used baits and then poured these out of that. That's pretty cool. I have a big collection of used baits that I plan on melting one day and making my own lures. I'll be curious to try Big E's here, see if I can catch a bass. What I'm going to do right away is cut right in between these claws Now they'll each have a unique action. This one with the split claw. This one left intact. 
we'll have to give these a try. Thanks again to Big E for sending the homemade soft plastics made out of recycled lures. All right, let's see what else we got here. This one is from Venom Lures in Lancaster, Ohio. I don't typically do promotions for lures. I didn't ask for these. Venom just felt like sending them, I guess. We'll at least open it up and show them off. Let's see what's in here. All right, we got a sticker here from Venom Lures. It shows a snake eating a fish. Looks like we got a packing list here. It doesn't really say who it's from. It just says that it's shipping to me. It does have the packing list though, so if I have any questions about what the lures are, there are the answers right there. So we have a package of Boss Hogs by Venom. You know, I'm wondering if this was sent by Venom or if someone ordered this from Venom and had it sent to me because they just want me to try it. So if you ordered these Venom lures for me, leave a comment down below and I'll give you a shout out. So we got the Boss Hogs here from Venom. They're fortified with Venom's Grab Fish Attractant. It also says Biodegradable. So that's interesting. We got a pack of Boss Hogs here. Creature Bait from Venom. Not too familiar with this one. These aren't on the store shelves where I live, but I have used some Venom lures in the past. There we go. It's like a brush hog with all sorts of appendages. Good looking bait. Let's see what else we got. We got a four inch salty sling. Everyone knows what this is. Soft stick bait, you know, like a Senko or a Dinger. We got some Mighty Mites here. This looks like a Centipede or a Helgramite. Yeah, that's a good looking bait. Might have to try that when I go out creek fishing. That one's called the Mighty Mite. We got some Super Swimmer Grubs. Again, a very common bait here, Twister Tail Grub. And last but not least, another pack of grubs. This one looks like it's in Chartreuse. Good little assortment here. I'm pretty sure I can catch a bass on at least one or two of these. I know the stick bait, probably the creature bait, but I'm hoping I can get something on the Helgramite. Thanks again to whoever sent this in, whether that's Venom Lures themselves, or if someone ordered this direct and had it shipped to me. Thank you, just in case it was you. Hi, this is Brayden from Michigan, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, we got one more package here. This one is from Diesel Baits in Fort Riley, Kansas. I have bought baits from them before. I don't remember ordering anything. Let's see what they sent me. All right, we have some notes here. This first one says, Alex, as you may have seen on Instagram, I'm deploying soon. By the time you get this, I'll most likely be gone. I wanted you to have all the extra baits I had left in my shop. They're yours to do with as you please. As an infantryman, the thing that makes us the most proud to do what we do is when we see Americans like yourself taking pride in our country. Something as small as the video you made picking up the trash. Thanks for giving my baits a shot. Thanks for great videos. And thanks for keeping it no bullshit. Diesel. Well, Diesel, good luck out there on your deployment. I hope everything is going well. Let's see what you sent in. All right, we got a package of the salmon eggs here. I know these work. I've caught trout on them. I prefer the white. I haven't branched out and used many other colors, but I bet these would work as well. Good little trout baits there. Here we have a package of 
crappie minnows, the little whip tail kind of baits. I'm not exactly sure what he calls them on his website, but I have caught fish on similar baits and I look forward to giving this a try. We'll see what happens. Here we have a package of plastic worms and some slim, tiny fluke looking stuff. We got a little variety pack here. He said these were the extra baits that were sitting around his shop and he wanted to send them over before he got deployed. We got some more minnow baits here. And another package of plastic worms. It looks like two different kinds. Good looking baits here. Again by Diesel Baits. I've had a good amount of success on this brand. I appreciate that he hand makes them himself and sells them on Instagram. Like I said, I hope your deployment is going well and I hope you get home safely so you can get back to making baits for us fishermen. I think that's it for the mail today. And when we come back, we're going to pick a winner for the secret giveaway. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing. You are watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. We're going to load the comments. The video was something like clearance fishing baits for me to try in the new 2022 season or something like that. If you left a comment on that video, you are now entered to win. Win what? Let's see real quick. We got a Booyah crankbait. This is the XCS1 in Crawdad. We also have the Crush Sixth Sense 100. This one is in Bluegill Fire. And a pack of Culprit 7.5 inch Red Shad Worms. Let's see who the winner is. We got 412 comments. Let's just pick that winner. Didn't pick. Let's get it lined up and do it right. Any day now. Oh, it got it. What the hell? All right, the winner is Ross Angling. Ross says, came to watch a video about cheap lures and left with bonus news of a UCW show next weekend. I'm just 15 miles down the road. I appreciate the heads up more than anything. Well, guess what, Ross? You also won free lures just from watching the video. And I wonder if you went to the wrestling show. Anyway, Ross, get a hold of me. Realisticfishing at gmail.com. Claim these lures. Get me that shipping info, and we'll take it from there. Once again, Ross Angling. Thanks to everyone who participates in the giveaways. Thanks to everyone who sends something into the show. I really appreciate all the support. Hopefully next time we can get out there and catch some fish. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.